It's just really troubling to see that my senior classmates have to deal with our senior year losing three amazing people and we're just all trying to hold hands and walk each other through each day and just get by. Grief, shock and anger tonight. A community is in mourning after three teens are killed in a two vehicle collision. Good evening. I'm Rafael Sanchez in for Todd Cotter. I'm Erica Fly. Tonight we're learning more about those killed in this tragic crash. It all happened just before 10 this morning at the intersection of Fairgrounds Road and County Road 850 West in Ripley County. Tonight family and friends are remembering the victims. Samantha Hansen of Holton, Indiana is among the teenagers killed when two pickups collided in Ripley County. She was in the sunrise of her life. At 18 years old, she never made it home from a school field trip. Even though she was taken so young, I feel like she managed to do as much as she possibly could and she deserves a spot in heaven and I believe and everyone else around me believes that that's where she really is right now. The crash in Ripley County killed two other teens, 18-year-old Jacob Vogel and 17-year-old Timothy Bowman. He was really, he was just a great all-around kid and his family is devastated and I just hope something good comes out of, out of this because these kids, it's senseless. Three other students were injured. All six were returning early from a school-approved trip to attend an Indiana FFA Association event at a rural church near Versailles. The school is investigating why the six students were on the road at the time of the accident, since the event was still underway. The initial uh, reconstruction findings indicated that both vehicles failed to stop at the stop sign. While the accident remains under police investigation, several families are heartbroken. Keep them in your prayers. They, they definitely will need it including classmates and teachers at South Ripley High School. And these were truly wonderful kids, and it's a deep loss for the whole school community and the South Ripley community as a whole. The superintendent says that the students were in personal vehicles because their event began at 6 a.m. when school was not in session. The school district provided grief counselors today and will make them available as needed. The Indiana State Department of Agriculture and Indiana FFA released the following statement on this tragic accident, saying in their words, the loss of any life is tragic and heartbreaking. The heartbreak is only compounded when the loss of life happens to those who are so young.